Hey guys, what's up? This is Manas and it's going to be a new tutorial on development of surfaces. So this time around, I'll be taking up a solid and that's going to be a prism. So why wait? Let's get down to the question. And this is going to be problem number one. And here it comes. And it goes like this. A pentagonal prism base 20 mm side and axis 40 mm long is resting with its base on HP. And one edge of the base is parallel to and away from the VP. All right. It is cut by a section plane perpendicular to the VP and inclined at 45 degrees to the HP and bisecting the axis. Draw the development. So whole lot of uh, data have been provided to us and let's uh, write them one by now in proper sequence. So we have this object in the form of a pentagonal prism which has a base of 20 mm side okay, and an axis of 40 millimeters. Right? Now there is this condition that we've got to follow and which says that one edge of the base is parallel to and away from the VP. All right. So let's write this condition and we will and we're going to make sure that this condition reflects perfectly in our drawing. Now we have this cutting plane and let's write the cutting plane details and we have this uh, the angle made by the cutting plane that is going to be 45 degrees to the horizontal plane. It's an AIP auxiliary inclined plane and I've already told you that an auxiliary inclined plane is that plane which is perpendicular to the VP and inclined at a certain angle to the HP. All right, and that certain angle in fact in this problem is 45 degrees. That's exactly what I've noted down. And at the same time, this cutting plane bisects the axis also. So that bisection point is going to lie 20 millimeters above the baseline or 20 millimeters above the XY line or the reference line. So all right, that's all the data that we have got noted down. And let's now get down to the business end and let's draw. So we're going to initially start off by drawing an XY line, a reference line, and we're going to start off uh, by drawing the top view. Why are we drawing the top view? That question should strike your mind immediately. Now guys, uh, I've already told you that this uh, is resting with its base on HP. Now you, you should know this that uh, we're speaking of a pentagonal prism and it has a pentagonal base. So when it is resting with its base on HP, then one thing is for sure that the true shape of the base can only be seen from the top and hence we'll begin by drawing the top view first. Okay, and uh, there is one more thing that we need to ensure that is one edge of the base has to be kept parallel to this XY line because in the question it has been clearly said and mentioned that you need to keep an edge of the pentagon parallel to the VP. That's why we have kept it parallel to this XY line in this orthographic projection. Okay, now you know the internal angle of a pentagon is 108 degrees and this is in fact what you call 20 millimeters all right so we're gonna go 108 degrees from here okay and then we'll make one more line this is again gonna be 20 millimeters one more from here 108 degrees and then you can take this as center put an arc of radius 20 millimeters then take this as center put again an arc of 20 millimeters that intersection point has to be joined with this guy and this guy and hence you're gonna have this pentagon all right now this pentagon here has five corners and let us say that this is one one two three four and five that's it now what we're going to do is we're supposed to make the front view eventually after this all right so we're going to look at this object from over here that is from the front okay and you're going to see these so-called projector lines so this is going to be the front view of this top view over here so this is going to be one dash two dash and this is five dash this is 3 dash and 4 dash. Here they are. All right. Now the axis length has been given as 40 millimeters. And that's exactly what you're going to see from the front, the length or the height of the pentagonal prism. So it's 40. So let's go upstairs. Each and every point has to be elevated by an amount of 40 millimeters. Exactly. This is the axis. Hence the representation is slightly different. A dash dot line is used to represent an axis. So here we have it, the overall front view and the top view. Now let's get down to the cutting plane okay so we have a cutting plane that is going to lie somewhere here passing through this point so this point is going to be 20 millimeters above from this baseline reference line all right so I've, i'm going to make a point over here through which i'm going to ma make sure that a cutting plane passes at an angle of 45 degrees all right so let's make this horizontal line a uh, baseline all right and let's make sure that a cutting plane passes through this okay at an angle of 45 degrees so that's the cutting plane okay the representation is dash double dot remember this fine okay now let's worry about the intersecting points of the cutting plane with the solid okay so this edge over here from uh, one dash all right is being intersected by this cutting plane over here so that's going to be point a for you and then this edge over here from two 
is intersected at this height this is going to be point b and similarly we'll have this point c d e okay so let's write them down okay so this is a dash b dash e dash c dash and d dash fine okay guys now let's start developing this okay and for that i'll be drawing uh, extending this line from over here all right now let's say we're going to start put up a point one over here all right now the distance from one to two is 20 millimeters from two to three is 20 millimeters and so on okay so let's uh, keep on naming them what we'll be doing is we'll keep a scale over here okay let's say zero is here then we're gonna put a point a dot over here at exactly after 20 millimeters then again exactly after 20 millimeters we need to keep on putting those dots all right two three four five and back to one so when you try to open a pentagonal prism you're going to see five rectangles okay and each of them will be having a base of 20 millimeters and a height of 40 millimeters something like this all right so these are the five rectangles that i was talking about now let's move further so we want this point intersecting point a over here in the in the development so we're going to use this parallel line method for that so i'll be drawing a perfectly horizontal line from point a dash so a dash is about one okay let's draw this so this is going to be point a this is again going to be point a so let's write them down immediately point a and here also we'll have point a something like this all right guys now we have this point b and b is going to intersect exactly above this two okay above this two I'll draw a line so this is going to be point b for me fine let's move further we have this point e okay and e is going to intersect above five that's why i've stopped at five okay so this is going to be point e all right it's pretty easy development is a topic that's um, very popular among students because they find it uh, very easy compared to projection of solids or section of solids or even projection of planes and next we have this point c that's going to lie somewhere above this point three over here okay let's draw a line from this point it's going to intersect over here and that's going to be point c for you fine okay guys finally we have this point d all right so let's draw a horizontal line again and it's going to intersect somewhere here so that's point d for you now as far as prism development is concerned all these intersecting points are going to be joined with the help of a straight line and it should appear something like this a to b b to c and finally everything is going to culminate at point a okay so that's the development in this case of a pentagonal prism whose one edge of the base was kept parallel and away from the vertical plane and at the same time this cutting plane was uh, bisecting the axis all right so that's the development and finally it should look something like this all right so i've written this down 20 cross 5 is equal to 100 okay 20 20 20 20 20 all right so guys that was all from my side and if you have any doubts queries write them down in the comment section below and if you realize that this video has added value to your knowledge then definitely do subscribe to this channel and recommend your friends to subscribe to this channel so that all of us can benefit from this okay and in the next problem i'll be taking the case of a hexagonal prism and its development is going to be prepared under certain conditions until then this is manas patnak signing off take care have a great day and keep drawing